Okay, welcome. What I want to do is show you how to evaluate for theta when given a coordinate point negative square root of 2 divided by 2, where our angle, either in theta or, um, or I'm sorry, in radians or degrees, has to be between 0 and 2 pi or 0 and 360. Now, I'm going to give my answers in radians, but I wanted to let you guys know to do a problem like this, it's going to be very, 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 very helpful for you to have the unit circle either with you or up here in your brain. So what I did to kind of show my videos is I drew the unit circle, but I just do the first quadrant. Because if you can at least remember the first quadrant, you can be able to use that to find all the other points uh, on the unit circle. So I'm looking at for cosine of theta equals negative square root of 2 divided by 2. Now remember, cosine represents that, the x value. So when I look over here, I notice that the x value, oh, the only time my x value is equal to square root of 2 over 2 is um, at, my degree, at my angle of pi fourths. Now, the problem is I'm looking for a negative square root of 2 over 2. So I need to be able to determine what is the reflection point here. What are these two points when x is going to be negative? So there's going to be two points on my unit circle when my cosine value is going to be negative. So if at pi force it's going to be positive, what I notice is at the angle of theta equals 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. Because if I was to break this up into force, this would be pi force, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, and 5 pi over 4. So therefore, at these two angles, my cosine is equal, or my, my cosine of these two angles is equal to negative square root of 2 divided by 2. Thanks.